as I mentioned from my uh, previous video before which is uh, 2,000 subscriber and monetize I will be helping to those small youtubers to increase their watch hours okay I would like to uh, say thank you for those uh, channel that already sent me their Facebook request including their channel link my dear friend help is on the way and uh, to those who would like to join it hurry up just add me on your Facebook send me a message including your channel link I will be helping you to increase your watch hours to those not yet been monetized so what are you waiting for hurry up this is my uh, Facebook link never worries my old friend this is free of charge same thing as you do I am very much happy to see your video as well as I will be leaving also a friendly comments to your video Never worries, I am very much happy answering all of your beautiful comments. Okay, I will be subscribing also to your channel after watching some of your videos. Okay, thank you and uh, enjoy the video. These corals have a flexible, sometimes leathery appearance. Although many resemble plants, they are actually animals. Soft corals are colonial organisms, which means they are a form of colonies of polyps. The polyps of soft corals have eight feathery tentacles, which is why they are also known as octocorals. Corals are animals, even though they may exhibit some of the characteristic of plants and are often mistaken for rocks. In scientific classification, corals fall under the pylum cynidaria and the class Anthosa. They are relatives of jellyfish and anemones. As with many other types of animals, different species of corals are found in a different habitats and different locations around the world. For example, similar but distinct species of Acropora and coral have evolved in the Pacific Ocean and the Caribbean. Soft corals are commonly seen on many of our shores, sometimes resemble flower buses, others giant leathery dishes. Yet, others are tiny of a look. They are found growing in boulders and other hard surfaces, as well as among coral, rubble and living hard corals on the reef flats. Soft corals are colonies of tiny individual polyps linked to one another. Soft corals can look like branching bushes or trees. They may also flutter and look like mushrooms. When exposed at low tide, they are often flap over and look like a pile of jelly or fried eggs. When submerged, however, they expand into a beautiful plant.
like a foam or some appear in fury as the tiny polyps expand. Tiny spikes of calcium carbonate called sclerites are embedded in the tissue mass. These sclerites are used to identify soft coral species. In some, the sclerites are far apart resulting in the more fluffy soft corals. In others, the sclerites are closer or fused together to form firmer support. The entire tissue mass is covered by the skin and the polyp tentacles emerge through this skin. In some soft corals, the skin can be quite tow and leathery looking, thus these are often called leathery soft corals. Out of water, soft corals may flap over and may look small, but underwater, they expand and spread out to maximize the feeding surface. Don't touch. Corals are fragile animals. Be careful not to touch, kick, or stand on the corals that you see in the water because this may damage or even kill them. I hope that you get some knowledge about marine ecosystem. And if you like this type of content, you may also subscribe to my channel. Hit also the notification bell so that you will be updated for my next video. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day and have a nice weekend. Once again, this is Underwater World, Philippine Sea.